Higgins, McGregor looking inside, throwing the intercept. This could seal the deal. Bartlett is off. The chase is on from Tafunga. But Bartlett is going to get there and potentially seal a minor premiership for the Dragons. But all the way to the line for Maddie Bartlett. Well done. Has had a really difficult run with injuries. Had a double shoulder reconstruction before she made her NRL W debut with the Warriors across the 19 and then 2020 seasons. Maybe a similar scenario here. The Dragons going on to win that one. 20 points to 14 and a game to follow this as well. Part of the, the triple header with uh, Parramatta and Newcastle making their debuts in this competition as Upton cuts them through the middle. That's a wonderful run and the pass to Boyle. The front row are backing up. Leonard Doozy with the offload to lead up to those points was incredible. That's the third offload that she's had this game. Look at that, holding three defenders off, then a pass back to Brigginshaw, and Upton has been absolutely brilliant once again this afternoon. Amber Hall, offload. Maddie, it's a pass away to Sasolka. Here we go. Tamika Upton. Back to Sasolka. That's beautiful stuff from Brisbane. And Sinead Sasolka extends the Broncos' advantage. Oh, that was beautiful to watch. You might have heard me get very excited about that because I love watching the interchange of passing. From that tackle, they jumped down, spotted the short side was open. As we watch here on the Harvey Norman replay, attacking that short side, Sazolka was fantastic. Upton again, showing why she is the premier fullback in the NRLW. Comes up with a beautiful support play and then a lovely pass back on the inside to the person who started it all, Shanae Sazolka. Well, oh, here's Tillett with a good run. And now he's a, a dummy. Go, oh, Jamie. No. Go, Jamie. Over the 30, the 20. Here comes the chase. Is she going to get there? It's Jamie Frazard. She'll like that one, Jamie Frazard, against her former club. Had a few injuries, some knee problems. See her back in full flight. As you said, that pre-line footwork was fantastic. But for me, it's the strength in contact, pushing through those defenders, showing the ball, going, and then putting the afterburners on and able to pull away from Upton. Oh, Sazolka does a great chase from the opposite centre position, but what a great piece of work there by Jamie Frezat. McGregor has it. Goes long, cutting out a few defenders. There are numbers here for the Roosters. The ball goes out to the wing and they're in through Bridie Parker. Absolute finesse there from the Roosters. That's the sort of footy we expected to see right from round one, but we've been a bit starved of it as the, as the Roosters had some trouble connecting their back line together, but certainly not here. Excellent pass selection from Racine McGregor. Field position battle here, the Roosters. McGregor puts it over the top. Whoops, the Funga might get the bounce. No, she won't get the bounce, but Bridie Parker will. What a great bounce for the Roosters. And first blood to them through Bridie Parker. What's my saying, Ruan? If you allow the ball to bounce... You invite disappointment you into invite your life. You invite disappointment into your life. And there's the disappointment running away under the post. <laughs> Don't let the ball bounce. Even the best of them do that. Sahara Tamara, the easiest of conversions. It's a lovely first touch for Bridie Parker. She's replacing Jessica Sergis today, so. 16, 16. Well, the debut of Kobe Jane Morgan, outstanding. She kicked the 40 30, and here's some more room. Mons all the way down the sideline, supporting field, and they won't catch her. Ivania Polite racing away. The Titans go back to back, and the champs are under the pump. They're sending a very big message here to the Broncos. Polite Day next, two of Gold Coast best, scoring the opening two tries. You can see from that break that maybe it's just a bit of lack experience on the right-hand side from the Broncos there. China got caught in really tight, way up the field, probably where she didn't need to. She probably could have chilled a little bit more. And McGregor, oh, great beautiful ball. ball away. And now up over the halfway line. 
What a run. Gets around Maddox. And away she goes. Saley Bent runs around. Oh, I thought might have ran around a bit further to improve the position. But what a great try from the Dragons. Game on. Oh, give her a break, Salty. That is a second rower outrunning a touch football speedster at fullback here. We're going to see this up close and personal. This was beautiful. We heard Gal get excited. It was a great ball by Paige McGregor, who has been heavily involved this afternoon. And look at her go, just fends her off, keeps those legs pumping. I thought she did well to improve her position as she did. You were expecting more from her. Great stuff, Shaley Bear. Well, she could have got another couple of metres. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't Give too bad. Her a break. I'll tell you what. Maddie Studden, the centre of Combank Stadium. Beautiful ball away. To Pio, even better pass. Penetani, good options inside to Matty Studden, and Studden will score the Eels on fire early. Yeah, that's outstanding, isn't it? I was about to highlight too the attacking prowess of Tiana Penetani and Matty Studden putting her old touch footy footwork to use there, Rue. Yeah, it certainly was, but also that line break by Pio. What a beautiful running line. You know, Maddie can't actually get that unless Pio runs the correct line the way she did. Great work all round by the Eels. Taryn Aiken. Yeah, Hajija Mosby. Look out, she can motor. Hajija Mosby, inside pass is an absolute beauty to Amy Turner. And Turner scores Brisbane's second try. Great vision by Taryn Aiken there, who gets across. Ellie Johnson is caught out of position in the centre. She, now, she's playing in the back row on the right-hand side for the Parramatta Eels, and Taryn Aiken takes care of that. And again, Mosby, the pass on the inside. A great constructed try from the Broncos down the left side. They've got a tack on both sides of the ruck. This is pretty to watch. Exactly, I agree with you. Here's Amy Turner. Strong charge from Turner going for the line. Is she going to get there? Yeah. Oh, what a try. What a put down. What a try there, Salty. That's an unbelievable try. Where are the speed? Had enough ball control, enough wits about it to know where the try line was and was able to get it down. Terrific try there from Turner. Look at that speed. Speed and power. Great balance. Great effort from a couple of the nice players there, but. Look at Turner, knows where the try line is, has control of the ball and gets it down. Terrific try. Here's Racine McGregor. Through the hands they go again. Kelleher out to Parker. Parker back on the inside. Isabel Kelly. The Roosters go back to back. The first try was Kelly for Parker. The second is Parker for Isabel Kelly. Well, don't the Roosters look excited? And I tell you what, Izzy Kelly has been looking dangerous from the get-go. It's so good to see her getting more of the early ball. Again, it's another dummy run there. Great pass by Racine McGregor. 